Hey there. So today I'm going to reveal you no code automation app for business centers. Now this app works on make.com and it can help you to automate all the processes, be it creating a new record, updating records based upon certain conditions and works across the module. So be it finance, sales, supply chain, project, distribution, all kinds of modules, even human resource. And you can literally automate all your critical and clerical processes. So you can define conditions, you can define routes, you can even watch certain events within Microsoft uh, Business Center 365 and based upon those events, the scenario will trigger. So it will do the intellectual path or let's say the flow, whatever you define in Make. So let's check out what all modules are available, how it works and what all actions you can take within this app. So now uh, let's see uh, how it looks like on Make interface. So you can get this app currently on invitation basis. Now. Uh, you will have to fill out a form given at the link in description just fill that form and instantly you will get the app invite link as well as the activation key now once you are to make a you create a scenario so simply go and select business central now within business central we have triggers available so watch record as a trigger uh, which is like as a trigger you can watch records which are recently updated or added across all the modules secondly uh, you can even define so we have uh, worked on the finance module and we created a couple of predefined actions so such as like create customer payment or uh, create an invoice or create invoice line, uh, create payment, download invoice, get item details from a particular invoice for vendor or customer, as well as you can either create customer vendor or update their details. Plus uh, we have also given here the search items. So search, uh, search item also works on the invoice, customer payment and the uh, vendor. So you can search any sort of items based upon a predefined value or the ID. Finally, there are two universal actions available. Uh, primarily uh, these actions can be taken on any module across so you can either create a record or update a record so be it payroll project as i said like supply chain or distribution or human resource anywhere you can use these actions and at last we have make an api call which is quite universal so in case if you don't uh, if you don't find any particular actions available here or if you want to make an api call you can straightforward do it from here itself now let's check out quickly one by one so in case of watch records is a trigger once you start the connection you'll have to authorize the connection here so you will have to create one project or let's say register one app uh, in name of make into microsoft azure environment that will give you the client id and client secret so that you can put here and finally the validation key which you will get through our email invitation now once the connection is established you can select the environment so primarily we are uh, selecting on the production environment then you can define the limit so how many uh, records or how many uh, actions you want to watch at a time okay, so let's say for example we'll just see here so this is a production environment i set up you will see you will see all the companies available within your environment or your account then you can choose which module you want to or which category you want to watch event from so it can be customer vendor as i said all the invoices generals or uh, payments or even the item from an invoice itself then you can define the limit so how many items or how many uh, watch the records should be fetched in one run or in a single run now based upon this you can take any of the subsequent actions you can create path or workflows now similar to this uh, let's check out about the search items so the search item is something uh, you can define the uh, key and value pair and based upon that key value uh, the system will fetch out the search result so you can build a complete query over here and you can even do multiple items on the uh, query right so it will uh, fetch and that search again works on all the finance modules at this moment then in case of uh, just an example in case you want to see uh, the create customer create invoices so in case if you want to create a customer just select the resource type customers and here you will get all the fields available across the customer module so be it the customer id number display name a type address line city country right uh, their credit limit balance due or uh, tax liability everything you can so whatever you have in business central in customer module all the fields are available over here as well right similar way if you want to create an invoice so same way you can choose the purchase invoice or sales invoice and based upon that you can define the field number invoice date posting date due date uh, the vendor invoice number along with all the items uh, shipping information so almost all the fields more than 100 fields are available over here so including tax total amount the status everything uh, you can also download invoices and send it through uh, any of the service uh, communications unless that's email or slack microsoft teams anything you're using so download invoices like something you can either download purchase or sales invoices uh, for a particular trigger uh, manage the id over here and uh, it will work 
finally update or create a uh, sorry update a customer or vendor so in this case you can simply choose whether it's a customer or vendor and you can define the customer id so here you can map it from different modules like through search module or through voice module or something or even watch record and you can simply uh, like update the three d require right at last uh, if you want to create records so this is a universal module create and update a record so here this is very important here you can choose the category first of all so which category you want to create this now as i said this support everything right all of the uh, module this is a universal uh, action so it can be taken across all the categories or modules now here you can see even if you want to create a employee or a general entry so employee is particularly for hr or human resources or payroll processing whereas if you want to create a currency or if you want to create a particular payment method i mentioned shipping methods anything right so it covers almost every other module including project management supply chain everything here you have to define the entity name which is an item and uh, all the information about that particular item right related to this category will be published or updated over here so let's say uh, yeah that's how it's going to work and same fashion in case if you want to update a record so you can choose update record and this update record will take you to this production environment and select then I can select the company whatever companies are available over here with me then I can select category so where I want to update this record so let's say I want to update the customer then I have to provide the entity name so it can be customer only once I do that even you can search the entity names if there are multiple things available you can just search out within the customer and then you can provide customer ID and everything over here so that's how uh, it is going to work and at last I'll just show you Maple, make an API also so make an API call is something uh, you can define the URL you can define the method get post put patch or delete and accordingly you can create the query string or body and this is uh, this will work so you just have to authorize once and it will work across all the API calls provided you should have proper permission set up in business central so yeah this is how business central can help you to uh, achieve uh, the automated workflows across your ERP system right across your business central app all the processes all the modules so uh, do let me know in case if you need any help or uh, if you are facing any trouble we have given our contact information and the below description as well or you can visit our website called www.msquare.pro right? uh, thank you very much for watching this video